Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well today. My name is James Richards. I'm the student director here at Blackman UMC. I wanted to share a quick scripture with you guys. It's Romans 15, 13, and it reads, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, I've read this verse several times today. And I really like kind of focusing on the whole, like, fill you with joy and peace and, and overflow with hope. But something that um, I've kind of noticed after reading it several times is I often want to be the one that does the filling. You know, I want to be in charge of the overflow. You know, James Richards as overflow of hope manager or James Richards as the joy filler and the peace filler. And like, that's my job and that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, but the more and more that I've read this today, I've realized what my role is in this little piece of scripture um, and where James Richards is supposed to fit in it. And it's in that little phrase in between two commas, and it says, as you trust in him. As you trust in him. And I realized that my role is not overflow manager or the person who does all the filling up of the cups. Um, but my job, my role, what I am called to do is to trust in God. And I think today, um, especially with all that's going on in the world, um, you know, and, and the change of a new year and, you know, stuff going on with elections, um, you know, schools trying to make decisions, that there's all this different stuff going on, and, and I, I want to be the solution a lot of times. I want to have the answer, um, but that's, that's not my job. That's not what God has called me into. My role is to trust in Him. And then what I hear is that when I do that, when I trust in the Lord, there is peace in the trusting. There is joy in the surrendering and that joy and that peace that I was trying to be the person um, that either filled other people with or filled myself with. Um, that when I surrender to God, that actually creates the space um, for the Lord to fill me with those things. You know, oftentimes too, as I, as I read this passage, um, I just really want to get to the filling and overflowing part, like I said. Um, but there's another piece of scripture, uh, and it's out of Jeremiah. And it says, um, Family of Israel, you know that I can do the same thing with you. You are like the clay in the potter's hands, and I am the potter. And it compares Israel and also us as the people of God to like the clay in the, in the hands of God. And, and he is like the potter that molds and shapes us. And I think sometimes that like the pot has to be molded and shaped before it can be filled and overflowed. It has to be molded so that it can actually hold something. And that takes me back to trusting in the Lord. Um, I'm reminded that we are in the season of learning how to trust God in deeper and new and maybe even more challenging ways than before. But I think God is molding us as clay in order to be filled and overflowed by his hope. So my prayer um, for you is that this message fills you with hope. Not from me or from anything that I've said, but to be reminded where the true origin of hope is. It is in the God of hope, as it says in Romans 15, 13. And that our role is just to trust in him. And he'll take care of the joy and the peace and the hope part that he's got us. And he doesn't want to just give us a little bit of it or a smidge of it but he's molding us so that he can fill us and overflow us in ways that we can never dream or even imagine. So I hope this comes as an encouragement. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye, guys.